section four, we're going to talk about how do you set up meetings. Um, earlier, we said that the, the magic number for you was doing 10 meetings a day, which means talking to 30 to 50 people, uh, which is a, it's a, it's a large amount of people. That takes a, a lot of action. How did you set up the meetings? Were you calling people? Were you texting them? Uh, what was your like yeah. method of reaching out to people? For sure. I mean, it was all of them. I was calling people. I was texting them. Um, I was reaching out to people on Facebook. Now, uh, I personally can't do that anymore because the majority of the people that are on my Facebook, they're part of you know my, my organization already. Mm -hmm. But you know, at the very beginning, for someone starting out, most of the people that are on your Facebook, they're all prospects. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it was all text messaging, all uh, you know, reaching out to people on Facebook, reaching out to people on at, the, at that time. You know, it was cool. A lot of people on Twitter. Um, I don't use really Twitter much at all anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, anyway, and and what I was kind of maybe probably gonna ask the next question is how was I setting up, right? Yeah. Or whatever. Here's the one I'll tell you what you don't want to do. The things you don't want to do is send out like a mass email, right, or mass message on Facebook saying, "Hey." Come check out, you know, this opportunity that I have going on. And nah, you don't want to do that. You know, you want to, excuse me, you want to stay away from anything that sounds really super salesy and, and you know, just what are the, what are, Yeah, what are the, 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 the words, the specific words you want to stay away from? Oh, you've got to stay away from, hey, I've got an opportunity, you know. Uh, I, I want, we, I've got something that can allow us to make money. So money, mm -hmm. opportunity, business, yeah, um, uh, networking, um, getting rich. You know, yeah. anything like that. You just want to stay away from. You know, because all those words they subconsciously ring negative bells in people's mind. You know, because most people just they're skeptics. You know, most people are skeptical. So you don't want to say anything like that. You know, the most you want to do, what I tell people all the time is, uh, if you're just starting, right? Mm -hmm. if, if you're just starting to someone, you know, that's kind of a lukewarm market to you, reach out to them like you would normally reach out to them uh, for anything. So for example, right now, you know, during this period of time right now, the NBA finals are going on, right? So if I were to reach out to somebody, I'm just going to reach out to them and say, hey, what's up? What are you doing later tonight? Isn't that like how you normally ask a friend or yeah. a family that you're cool with what they're doing? What's up with you doing later tonight? They'll probably respond, nothing, what's up? Or let's say I'm doing a lot of running around with kids, um, you know, just I'm working late, whatever the case may be. If they are busy, you do not pursue them any longer. If they are busy tonight and you reach out to them, hey, what's up, what you got going on tonight? And they respond that they're busy in some way, shape, or form. You respond back to them, okay, cool. Just want to check up on you, see how you're doing. The moment you pursue further on, right, now you're going to become sort of a nuisance. You don't want to become a nuisance, right? If now you reach out to them and say, uh, you know, what's up, what you got going on, and they respond, I'm free, what's up, why? You can respond to them now, and hey, look, I want to chop it up with you about something. Here's the key thing, though. Now, another teaching point, that's the point. That's how I talk to my friends. Like, I use terms like that. Hey, I want to chop it up with you. I want to talk to you about something. I'm working on something uh, that I want to go over with you. Things like that, that it's not specific. And something that I would normally say, mm -hmm. very important, key, as you're listening to this, you cannot verbatim, you can try it, it's cool, no problem, it's not a bad thing, mm -hmm. but you cannot verbatim repeat what I'm saying because... The people who are around you know how you talk. Mm -hmm. They know how you are. The moment you become something a little different, a little off, they'll catch it really quick. You speak to your friends the way you normally speak to them, speak to them on, a, on a daily basis. Keep that in mind. So if they tell me, you know, that they're free, mm -hmm. I say, look, yeah, I want to chop it up with you about something. Or if they're a really close friend or, or you know, relative that you have a great relationship with, easily say, if they're free, cool. I'm coming over. All right. <laughs> There's not that much to it, right? It's not that much to it. You don't have... Now you go over... The door's open now, right? You can go over there and you can share some information with them. Let's say now um, you 
you just got started and you can't share the information with them by yourself, mm -hmm. right? You have somebody else that you want to bring along with you to kind of share the information, yeah. right? Because that's going to happen a lot. Here's what you need to do. You got to understand. This is when you got to bring them out. You know, obviously it's kind of weird if you bring like a stranger to yeah, a friend's yeah, house, yeah, right? Yeah. So if you reach out to a friend and they're available that night, you know, or later that day, you want to tell them, all right, look, man, I'm working on something. I want to chop it up with you about it. That's how I talk. That's how I listen. I'm working on something. I want to chop it up with you. I want to talk to you about something I'm working on. Next question is going to be 99% of the time. Okay, cool. What is it? That's where most people fuck up. Yeah. Right there. They <laughs> screw up right there because yeah. now they want to dive into giving them info. You just stop them right there and say, look, um, if I can tell you everything right now, I would, but I can't. I got to run. Um, just meet me at the Starbucks by the house. 7.30, cool. You give them the time, you know. Seven, between 7.30 and 8, cool. Anytime around that. After, it's after work, cool for you. You give them this net, this big net for them to jump into. Okay, cool. No problem. You don't want to see what happens now is this. If they ask you, what is it? And you start to go into, hey, man, well, I saw this thing, this business, this opportunity, uh, this thing where we can start getting some money together. Like, you just, you, you've now... You solidify the fact they're not going to meet up with you at all. So they're not going to see you at all. They may never see you again. Right. Because now they're afraid that every time they see yeah. you, you're going to talk about some shit that they don't want to talk about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and mind you, it can be something that can radically change their life. But just because of how we're programmed today in society, we automatically think that when somebody's offering us something, it's got to be bad. Yeah. It's got to be. There's no way that it's good if someone's offering us something. So... When someone asks us, you know, what is it? You have to find certain, you have to just cut it off right then and there. Just say, look, um, I'll tell you when I speak to you. It's not crazy, it's not major. Just wanna let you know. Some other people, you know, you can word it and say, look, I'm, I'm working on something big. Come meet up with me. Whatever you're kind of feeling at that time or however you're talking to them. See, for me, I can always tell my friends, listen, I'm working on something. I want, it. I want you to come check it out. Okay, cool. You can't tell me what it is. My response? Nah, it's like trying to me trying to describe a movie to you over the phone. Or me trying to text a movie to you. No, you, you just can't. I'm not going to get... The moment you, you start to answer that question of what is it, it's like quicksand that you can't get out of. Do not answer that question right there. Then. You want to keep the cards in your favor at all times. The only time you reveal the cards to them is when you are face to face. That's it, okay? Then they're gonna get the complete picture. You know, picture All of the it little is. questions answered. All of it right then and there. Very important to not say much at the beginning. And that can be, that can determine whether or not they even can see the presentation much less gain, you know what I mean? So yeah, the very beginning, you wanna make sure that you keep it simple. Don't use some of those key words that we mentioned. Cause you just trigger stuff subconsciously and um, set a time that you want them to link up with them and then you go from there. Okay, um, what do you do if somebody reschedules? What do you do if somebody shows up late? How do you handle all that sort of thing? Yeah, 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 so um, if someone, and this that's important. So when I ask somebody if they're free tonight, if they ain't rescheduling with me, you already told me that you're free tonight. You can't tell me that you're free and then, oh, you know, I can't do it because of whatever reason. More more times than not, if they have to reschedule with you after they already said that they're free, they kind of, you said too much. They caught on already, mm -hmm. and good luck rescheduling with them because it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, if, someone, if someone says, for example, yeah, listen, I'm busy, but what's up? Like, you know, talk to me. What you got going on? Nothing much. Speak to you later. Leave it at that. Like, just don't, don't go down that road any further. What may happen is that person just may be very curious. So if you reach out to somebody, yo, what's up? What you got going on tonight? Uh, I'm kind of busy. Why? Wow, what's up? Nothing. Forget it. I'll speak to you later. Two things are going to happen. They'll forget it, and you'll speak to them whenever you can speak to them. Or they're going to be kind of intrigued on why you're reaching out to them. Respond. Why? Wow, what's up? Now, you can respond any sort of way, but if you continue to hold firm and say, 
Say, listen, you're busy. Don't worry about it. It's cool. I'll speak to you another time. More times than not, people will now want to be more interested yeah. Yeah. in what, why, what, why. You reached out to me for a reason. Why? why? Like, you said you're busy. We'll speak whenever we can. Now, listen, let's come out of the house later on. You know, we can talk about what it's done about. Sometimes that may happen. So, um, as far as, you know, someone being busy, you never want to chase them. Allow them to be busy. Allow them to, you know, have to do their thing. And don't go down that path of trying to figure out. Okay, cool. If you're not if you're not free today, what about tomorrow? Are you free the day after that? If you're not free, no. Then, you again, you begin to chase. When you begin to chase, you start to give that person, again, a subconscious feeling that you need them. No, you want to stay far away from those type of feelings of anyone thinking that you need them for anything because that is also a surefire way of them not one wanting to probably meet up with you, two not wanting to do whatever opportunity you're sharing with them because now they think that oh well if I get involved in this I'm just giving them money or I'm helping them some way some form. You know you always want to keep that posture. You want to keep that posture. You're not meeting them. You're, whoever you're linking up with, you want to always give them a feeling of I'm I'm. Like I'm doing you a favor sharing this to you, sharing this with you. You know what I'm saying? This is not this is not something I'm just sharing with anybody. You know, I'm picking you for a reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you gotta have that posture, you've gotta have that feeling, that tone. Like even right now when I share, you know, the information with somebody, I'm like there's times where in my mind I'm I'm saying to myself, um, how much can this person really benefit from what I'm gonna share with them versus what I'm gonna get out of it? It's like I'm giving somebody a bag of gold, you know what I'm saying? That's how you gotta treat your opportunity. You gotta treat it like you're giving it to somebody versus uh, you know, uh, you're getting anything from from a scenario. Because that's what obviously like ninety percent of people, when they're reaching out to someone, they know that that's gonna turn into a sale and they're gonna get something from it. Change that dynamic mentally a little bit. And yeah, you're gonna get something from it, but that's not how you should go into it. What go into it is like this is something I'm giving to somebody. Yeah, somebody told me it's like if you were giving somebody a hundred dollars, how would you act exactly. rather than like you getting a hundred dollars? Absolutely. Absolutely. Welcome to MLMRC.com. If you're currently doing a network marketing business and you're trying to build a downline, then you've come to the right place. We match up real people seeking home business opportunities with real network marketers like you. We've helped hundreds of network marketers just like you to quickly build their downlines. Now let us help you. We have many registered prospects who are ready to join the right network marketing opportunity like yours. So our goal is to help you build your downline fast, regardless of which network marketing company you're with. Our fully automated recruiting system works with any network marketing company, such as Amway, Herbalife, Mary Kay, Avon, Newskin, or any MLM company in which you need to recruit and build a downline. Our automated recruiting system will do all the hard work of finding quality new members to join your downline. Our system will work around the clock to build your downline for you. All you do is sit back, relax, and watch your downline grow. And we can help you to build your downline fast, easy, and achieve the success you want. On this page, you'll discover how we can help you to immediately add dozens of new members to your team. So take a few minutes to review the information on this page, and let's work together to get you all the downline members you want in the next few weeks. Thank you.